Hi guys, I hope you're doing fine and waiting for another episode on Space News. Your wait is over because I have come back with another crazy week of Space World updates. In today's video, we will tell you why many Blue Origin employees left their company to join CEO Elon Musk and his company SpaceX. But before we start, subscribe to the channel so that you will never miss any of our latest space niche videos. Let's not waste a second and move on. Blue Origin has not always been the company everyone hates. In fact, in the mid 2010s, it was quite the opposite. Being a fast and innovative company, Blue Origin was able to develop the BE1, BE2 and BE3 engines in just a few years and have prototypes fly as early as 2011. On top of that, the company's goal was to save the planet. Jeff Bezos is convinced Earth has to be preserved as a garden and that there is only one planet suited for life in the solar system. The ultimate goal of the company would be to transfer most heavy industries into space to preserve the Earth. A different approach than SpaceX, but completely valid too. The gigantic New Glenn rocket was announced in 2016, promising a thrilling rivalry with SpaceX and stunning plans for the future which around that time that Blue Origin won its first major contract to deliver Glenn's BE-4 motors to ULA for the upcoming Vulcan rocket. Also, Jeff Bezos wants to change the way space companies were dealing with NASA and other customers' contracts. In 2019, Blue Origin competed against SpaceX and ULA to launch all the US military satellites for the year 2022 to the year 2027 timeframe. Blue Origin filed the company's complaint before the award but lost to SpaceX and ULA in 2020 anyway. It was believed that Space Force officials were concerned with BE4 engines, delivery issues and wanting the company to focus on that problem before building its rocket. This soon became a public relations issue nightmare because people remember how Bezos built his fortune pressuring low-wage workers and avoiding taxes while using the country's resources. But there is more when Blue Origin started undermining plans and the technical side of SpaceX's proposal. It was too much for the employees. They did not like the new management too much. They were disappointed to have lost. Some engineers publicly expressed their sympathy with their friends at other space companies on Reddit, while others just left. According to CNBC, more than a dozen high-ranking engineers have resigned from the Amazon founder space exploration company in the recent weeks, with some joining the ranks of rival companies such as SpaceX. While several employees were seen in the company, the two main defectors that came into the limelight the most when discussing their exit from the company were Nitin Aurora and Lauren Lyons. Nitin Aurora was one of Blue Origin's lead engineers who has left the aerospace manufacturer to join its main competitor, SpaceX. Nitin Aurora was allegedly working on Blue Origin's moon lander at the time of his departure. It's unreported why Aurora chose to leave, but Elon Musk's SpaceX recent a $2.9 billion NASA contract to build a new lunar lander craft may have contributed towards his decisions. Blue Origin had put forward its lunar lander for the project, which would take humans back to the moon by 2024. Announcing the news of this new job yesterday, August 16th, Aurora wrote on LinkedIn, Friday was my last day at Blue Origin. It was one hell of a ride working on the lunar program. Honored that I got the chance to work with and lead incredibly smart, passionate people over the last three years. Special thanks to everyone with who I worked daily. I will miss you all. Next stop, SpaceX. The other defector was Lauren Lyons, who announced her entry to the Unicorn Firefly Aerospace team. On August 18th, Firefly Aerospace tweeted in which they said that Firefly is pleased to announce that Lauren Lyons will join the team as Chief Operating Officer. Lauren will lead the effort in scaling the company's production and operations as Firefly moves into commercial production. Several other major employees have left the company. These employees quietly updated their LinkedIn pages over the past few weeks. There were more than four employees that left Blue Origin this summer. Huang Vo, New Shepard lead avionics software engineer. Aaron Wang, BE7 avionics hardware engineer. Rex Gu, Propulsion Engineer, 
Jerry Hudak, Rocket Engine Development Engineer. While none of the departures publicly comment on the reasons, some anonymous entries on the US job site Glassdoor allow at least a little glimpse behind the scenes. Many cite frustration with the management in the slower bureaucratic structure as the reason for changing jobs. The departures were noteworthy because of their timing. Coming after NASA in April announced that SpaceX would be awarded with a $2.9 billion contract for a moon lander for the Artemis missions. Reports said, in light of SpaceX winning the contract with NASA, Blue Origin announced that it has filed a lawsuit against the US government claiming the unlawful and improper evaluation of the proposals were involved in the decision to grant Musk's company the contract. The lawsuit, which was filed on Friday, August 13th, also claims that the issues stated in the documentation must be addressed to restore fairness, create competition, and ensure a safe return to the moon for America. Earlier this month, Jeff Bezos attempted to hijack Musk's bid and offered to cover $2 billion worth of the space agency's costs to be reconsidered for the contract that SpaceX won in April. Initially, NASA said it was going to pick two companies out of Blue Origin, SpaceX, and Dynetics, but it only chose one, Business Insider reports. The Government Accountability Office, GAO, gave a clear reason why only SpaceX was selected for the moon lander contract. GAO pointed to SpaceX because it costs much less and has a better record than other offerings. However, limited funds were also cited as the main reason that only one company was chosen. All the events till now have led to Blue Origin's downfall. And now the news of about 17 more employees leaving Blue Origin. It seems like it's getting worse. The attempts by Blue Origin to defame SpaceX with infographics were not approved by many of the employees, which could be a strong factor in them leaving the company. Till the beginning of 2020, things were going pretty smoothly with Jeff Bezos' company, with about 1,500 new employees joining the space firm and making the company grow nearly a factor of four over the past three years. If Blue Origin doesn't get its act together quickly, it could be seeing a more drastic decrease in the number of employees soon. Maybe if Bezos put more effort into holding the company together and less into his cowboy cosplay, Blue Origin would be in a better shape than it is today. What do you think about Blue Origin? Will they come up with a new set of experienced employees to grow their business? Or will they make a smart move to retain their employees back in the company? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below and we will be happy to hear from you as well. If you found this video interesting, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.